So at level one, if we talk about the remote server administration tool, so we have Hyper-V Manager, which is generally available inside Windows 10 and Windows 11 as well. By default, this option is not enabled, but you can enable this feature from your control panel. With the help of this tool, uh, we can overcome with the uh, with the administration complexity, performance, and security as well. So let's move and see how we can connect with the Hyper-V manager and add our all host machine with our local Hyper-V manager. So here you can see I have Windows 11 uh, desktop machine. So when I click on the start button and type Hyper-V, so it will show me the Hyper-V manager. When I click on it, so the Hyper-V manager window will open over here. As I said that this tool is not enabled by default. So if you want to uh, get this tool from, uh, uh, from your Windows 11 OS or Windows 10, just click on the control panel and uh, uh, click on the programs and features. So when I click on the programs and features, here is the option turn windows features on or off. When I click on this button, so the built in tools will be appear over here. So here you can see the check is already marked over here. So that is why when I uh, click on the start button and type hyper V, so the hyper V manager window appear over here. So I just cancel it because I have already added this tool. So here you can see I have the Hyper-V manager. So now if I want to add my uh, uh, virtualization host machine over here, I just need to click uh, right click on the Hyper-V manager and select connect to the server option. Here you can see I have an option available where I can type my uh, host machine name over here when I click on it. So it will take a while and this host machine will be connected over here. Now you can see node one is connected over here and is trying to connect to the virtualization infrastructure and it, it will take a while and will load all kinds of information related to the virtual machines. Here you go. Now the node one virtual host is connected over here and all virtual machines are available. So from this window, I can perform lots of tasks on my virtual infrastructure. So if I want to add further host, so I'll use the same option and I'll type the second host name. So I click on the node two and then uh, the node two host will also be connected over here. Now you can see the second host machine over here. So with the help of this uh, Hyper-V local manager, uh, we get rid of multiple uh, remote desktop sessions for our virtual host. Before this uh, local Hyper-V manager, we need to uh, create a remote desktop uh, session for all the host machines separately. But now if we add all the host machines over here, so we can manage all the virtualization infrastructure from single window so it will overcome with the uh, multiple remote desktop sessions uh, 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 overcome with the with the security and vulnerabilities as well but it's still is still we have lots of other options which is not available with this local Hyper-V manager because we cannot manage uh, the host uh, storage uh, storage options, device manager, performance optimization, or you can say if you want to uh, add or remove any kind of role. So all these options are available, but it's a better option uh, when we talk about the uh, remote server administration tool. So in the coming episode, we will go with other tools and explore what kind of other tools available which provide more tremendous options uh, related to uh, related with administration, management, monitoring and security as well.